can see today, I am in a different spot. I'm actually in my nursery doing this video. Normally, I have not been doing videos in here very often unless I'm at the, the changing table or changing the babies in the crib. But today, I decided to bring the new baby in here and actually sit in here and do a video. Um, I probably will take her to the changing table to change her eventually at some point in this video and put some clothes on her, although I don't want to put clothes on her. <laughs> but anyway... I need to try some clothes on her because as you can see now, she has a head full of hair. I finally finished her hair. So now I need to actually like try an outfit on her or something of that nature because she hasn't really like been dressed yet since she's been born she's like i'm thinking about a week old by now or six days old since i revealed her to you guys last week and it took me about she might be two weeks old actually because let's see i revealed her and then it took me about a week to root her I'm thinking. So she is about almost two weeks old, I'm thinking. And finally, we are back and she's all completed. So this is the new baby with all of her curly hair. Some parts of it looks lighter right now because it's actually wet. Like right here, I just sprayed it. When you spray it, it looks thinner and then you can actually still see her scalp but that's because it's kind of wet but pretty much she has a head full of hair I did not intend on giving her all of this hair um I was planning on more of a baby style where it would be kind of wavy and smooth down I'm thinking I can still do that with this hair it's just that it's more hair than what I intended but I really don't want to cut it yet. I only cut it a little bit, so I'm not going to mess with it yet until I'm sure because once you cut it off, it's gone. It ain't growing back. And as long as it takes to root all of this hair, I don't want to cut it and then I regret cutting it. So I'm going to see for a while, a couple more days, if I like it like this or if I want to trim it down a little bit more we shall see so welcome to my nursery if you are here for the first time please hit that subscribe button if you're new um give the video a thumbs up everyone hit the notification bell if you're new and even if you're not new check your notification bell because I keep seeing where I go to channels that I know I've been subscribed to. I know I click the notification bell so I would be notified when they, the channel creator puts up new videos. And I don't get notifications. And then all of a sudden, I'll be thinking about the channel or the person. And I'm like, wow, I didn't see no videos from such and such in such a long time. So I'll go over to their channel and come to find out somehow the notification bell is no longer clicked on all because you have to hit subscribe and then you have to click the bell for all um, if you want to see all of the uploads that whenever that person uploads anything on their channel, you'll be notified. But for some reason, it seems like YouTube unclicks the bell. I don't know what happens. So even if you've already clicked your notification bell, every now and then for any of your channels you're subscribed to, I usually go back and check them because you won't be notified. And you'll be thinking the person is not putting up videos or they left or something. Meanwhile, they're putting up videos. You just not getting notified. 
So yeah, click the bell, click all, check your bell, and please give the video a like. Please share my videos. As I said, when we get to 5,000 subscribers, there will be a 5,000 subscriber appreciation giveaway. So she is drinking her milk. This is baby Kenya, if you're new to my channel. And like I said, she's the newest baby in the nursery. I revealed her almost two weeks ago. She is painted and rooted by me. And she is the Billy Sculpt by Kathy Romero Biscotti of Silicone Studio. And I ordered this baby blank, the blank sculpt off of Silicone Studio 2. So, yes, that is just a little background. If you are new, um, I had wanted another silicone baby in my collection, another full body, and I wanted it to be a girl. It had to be a girl. Normally, I'm a boy mom. Normally, I love my baby boys, but for some reason, I want to say maybe six months. It could be longer that I wanted another you know full body girl in my collection and i wanted her to be a newborn size she had to be newborn size um i wanted curly hair dark curly hair i wanted her to be um like the skin tone she is or close to this skin tone like i had her all pictured in my mind what i wanted from a while ago so Finally, here she is, what I wanted, what I was dreaming of creating for myself. Here she is. Um, and I wasn't sure if I was going to paint her because I was also open to the option of I might run across a baby that's already completed and I would just fall in love. And I did see a few of this sculpt for sale um, up for adoption that I could have brought home. But then it just came over me to buy the blank sculpt and just create her myself. What I was envisioning and dreaming of to try to just do it myself. And that's what I did. And I actually, you know, I actually was able to create and bring to life what I was picturing for all these months. Um, what I was dreaming about, what baby, I like, and I didn't know what sculpt. That's the thing. I wasn't sure what sculpt it was going to be, but I knew how I wanted the baby to look. And I think I definitely picked the right sculpt after many different blank sculpts I was looking at. I finally narrowed it down to this baby. And this was kind of my first choice was the Billy sculpt. I really like this particular sculpt, the size of the baby, the way the lips are the eyes like just certain things on this baby the features is she just kind of fit what i wanted and i think this baby is supposed to be a boy i mean this baby would make a absolutely absolutely cute boy but i pictured it as a girl and it actually looks like a girl um it can be a girl for anybody who was wondering could she be a cute girl i think she makes a cute girl too and when I put a bow on her hair, we're going to see she will look even more like a girl when she get a little bow on. I haven't put a headband on her yet because she was wearing a hat before when you guys seen her. And then I've been rooting her hair for the past week. So I'm anxious to see her with a headband on um, because I just finished her hair last night. It was late. So all I did was trim it up a little bit um spray it and style it but i didn't actually try her with a bow or anything yet so that is what i'm looking forward to doing she's not drinking much of her bottle so we are gonna save it for later and i think i want to um change her into an outfit so that is something else i'm excited for because you know even though we like seeing them with no clothes and seeing their little legs and their little feet and everything. I love seeing a silicone baby in just a diaper, but then you do want to see, at least see how they look in clothes 
this is the back of her just in case you are new and you've never seen her before but she is a sweet little size i love the size um most of my silicone dolls they are not that big but most of them usually are not exactly newborn size that i feel like um a newborn size silicone is hard to, to, to come by. I feel like they are either big and chunky silicone, full body silicones, or they are teeny tiny and preemie. But the newborn size, just a regular newborn size full body silicone, is I feel is really hard to come by. Um, they, they, you can't get this newborn size very often. <laughs> it's either a big, big baby or it's a little teeny tiny baby. So I was very happy to get this size baby in a full body silicone and it, you know, be able to get it in a, you know, a girl, get a blank and then create whatever skin tone I wanted. I, I'm very excited about it. <laughs> because sometimes you just cannot find a cute little newborn size baby. Like she is the perfect newborn size, I must say. Um, she is 17 and a half inches from heel to no, from head to heel. <laughs> head to heel, 17 and a half inches. And then if her legs are straightened or you go all the way from head to her toes, then she is um, 18 or 19 inches, I think it is. 19 inches if you go all the way to her toe. Um, but her legs are slightly bent. So to me, she looks more like a 17 and a half to 18 inch newborn size baby which i love her little size um layla my layla is kind of a newborn size but she's more of a one month size baby where she's a little bit bigger than newborn but smaller than a three month and layla is much chubbier than this baby again she's a chubbier baby so i feel like this baby's weight and her length more matches more of a newborn size baby this baby is a cute little size where she's not too chunky although i love me a chunky baby too but i really really wanted a baby that's newborn size and not overly chubby and chunky this time so she fit the mark she fit what i'm you know what i was looking for so she has rooted eyelashes and eyebrows and i'm not sure if i'm going to change her eyebrows because right now i have them kind of thick i don't know if i want to leave them like that i have to see how she looks when i actually start taking more pictures of her and when i look back at the video that's how i could tell with my babies when i paint them myself or even if i buy them and you look at them back on the videos and the pictures and then you can see what adjustments you need to make especially the, i would say if it's a baby i created once i look back at the video i could kind of see what do i need to adjust do i want her hair to stay as it is do i need to clip it more is it too much hair um do i want her eyebrows thinner like i i'll see it when i look back at my video i don't know yet we shall see but we're gonna take her over to the changing table and i'll be right back guys okay so we're back we're on the changing table um i don't know she looks so close to the camera i don't know did i zoom this camera in or what but she looks awfully close up. But at least you guys can see her. Let's try to put it up a little bit. Okay. So now hopefully my camera doesn't give me any trouble with storage and all of that. Because now I'm going to have to piece videos together. Because we got a part one and a part two. But if that should happen, it'll be up in two parts. We'll have the first part and then we'll have this part. But hopefully I can get it put together as one video. So 
she's wearing this cute little diaper and they are by little me newborn size and i had bought these for her a while ago as i was painting her as i said i was just nesting and nesting for this little girl with the anticipation of her finally being born and so i was just buying up stuff um so this is this diaper up close and i think it is so pretty with these pink rosettes on it and it's so soft i didn't even know little me made diapers <laughs> and that's the inside i mean these diapers are extremely soft um it says this for sensitive skin if you're interested in it for your silicone or your real baby it says it's free of para parabens free of latex free of perfumes free of lotions free of dyes so this is definitely a good diaper for real babies and for our silicone babies because you don't want to put diapers on them that have a whole bunch of additives in them so this diaper is really good for silicone dolls. Just in case anybody's interested, I found mine's online, but I'm pretty sure they're in some of the stores if you look for them. Um, this is big though, I find, in my opinion, for a newborn size diaper. It almost looks very close to a size one. So I had to like bring the tape all the way over on her. Like you have the first tape, and I folded it down to see her belly button. So I had to bring the first tape all the way over. It practically goes all the way to the other side of her little stomach. And then this one goes all the way over to this side. So that's how I made it tight enough to fit her little waist. But it fits. Okay, so the next thing I got her, and I don't have everything out. Like I said, it would take too long if I show everything in one video. But I did order bows, this pack of bows. It's just different colors and prints on them. So I will pick a headband out of there for her to wear. And I got those off of Amazon. And then I bought her some passies as though I needed more pacifiers, but these are by Moon Key. And I got these for her. These I found in, um, what's that store? TJ Maxx. They are a zero to six month. They are silicone. And what I like about them is that they look like the other pacifiers, the bibs, but these are shaped like a, a flower. They're all silicone. And the nipple is just like the ones on the bibs pacifiers, except these are silicone. So that is what drew me in to get these. Um, I'm gonna try to look for more colors when I go back. So these are the colors I got right now. And like my bibs pacifiers with the latex nipples on them, the rubber nipples, for my silicone babies with those, I have to cover the nipples with Silpoxy or silicone adhesive. Um, but these, you could just pop them in their mouth because they're already silicone. So that is the good thing about these. And I like that they have all of the different colors. And for the girls, I like that little flower shape. So of course, she's going to share them with her sister. But I got them with her in mind when she was in the making. So that's something I ordered. Then I had ordered her some sleepers and I was mostly ordering Carter sleepers. Um, and I have quite a bit more of them, but I didn't take all of them out. So this is one option. Like I said, mostly everything I was trying to stick to newborn size. But what I'm noticing is these newborn size are so huge and long and usually carter's newborn size are small so i figured she could definitely fit it 
but this is actual Carter's from the Carter's online site and it's big so I'm going to have to try them on her and I ordered a few of them different prints and now looking at it is so big then this is an older sleeper I love I've had for years is Layla's by Spearmint Love Newborn and it's that mustard golden color with the ruffle down the snaps and then the ruffles on the tushy um, it's that bamboo material so I was thinking about this and even this looks long for her, but it's newborn, that option. Then this is another of my favorites from Layla by Little Miss Dessa. I love this set. I need to go on their site. They keep sending me notifications. I haven't bought anything from them in years, but I actually still would like to get some more of these sets. It has the little footed pants. Um, I know these little pants will fit her because they're so little, but the neck on these are made for real babies and they make the neck so big, so it's easy to get it over a real baby's head. So I get it, but for a silicone baby, it's kind of big probably for her neck. So I don't know about that. Then I took out this Jockety one month sleeper, has the little um, petal neck collar, blue and white stripes, the little blue dragon fly like embroidered and it's footed and this one is all white pretty much it snaps i've had it for the longest and nobody i don't think i ever put that on layla still have it then this is just a regular little romper that says adorable with hearts and a tutu waist like a ruffly tutu waist and i think that simple it's sweet it's cute it's pink Maybe I just put that on her because it's simple. <laughs> I don't know. I I tell you, I struggle with this with a new baby. I don't I never know like what to put on them. I get all of this stuff for them, and then I don't know what to put on them. It's so crazy. So then there's this romper, it's pink polka dots, different colors of pinks, and like a khaki color polka dot is by Mayoral, I believe. There was a tag somewhere. And you know what? If I wanted to put this one on her, I did not bring my scissor in here. And there's no way of cutting this off. <laughs> and you cannot pop these. You have to have a scissor. And I didn't bring my scissor. And I was going to actually try this romper on her. It looks really bubbly, though. Like, it's going to be too big. It's a zero to one month size. Snaps down the back would have been easy to put on and I don't have a scissor. How could I forget my scissor? I have two pair of scissors that are in my bedroom and they're not, none is in here. So that's out of the question. Forget that romper, not happening right now. We'll do it in another video because I don't have a scissor. So what should I put on her? I need to do a live stream. I need to try to do a live stream. And then some of the times I could ask you guys and you can pick which outfit to put on the baby. I have not tried to do a live in so long. The last time I tried to do a live, it didn't act right for me and I never tried again. And that was at least two years or three years ago, I want to say. It's been quite a long time. And I didn't even have this phone I have now. So I've never even tried a live with this phone that I actually have now. That's so crazy. So I need to try one. But what am I putting on this baby? And I don't want to make the video too long because already I got to piece it together. Hmm. How does this color look against her? It's like the, the um screen kind of tells me when I look through the screen which color looks better or which outfit i don't know i kind of want something girly on her though all right i'm gonna just try this on her for this video we will be back and we will try something else if i don't like this which i'm gonna change her anyway because she's the new baby you know how you want to change the new baby just to see what you like on them and to see what 
um, size is best on them and all kind of stuff like that. What colors, what styles. And right now I have my tripod in this awkward way over this changing table. So it's going to make it difficult for me to change her without blocking her face with my arms. So excuse that, you guys. I knew the pants would fit her good because these pants are really tiny. They're stretchy, but they're tiny at the same time. So I knew the pants would be a good fit. Now let's try this big wide neck top. Even on Layla, the top is very wide, the neck, but I still love it on her anyway. So since it's so wide, I'm gonna just slide it up without pulling it over her hair. So maybe we won't mess up her hair. And this is her little chest with that vein I was telling you guys about. I love that vein. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> because I told you guys, I hardly paint veins on my dolls. So if I could do a vein here and there, they actually come out looking like a real vein. I'm so proud of it. I actually like that. And I was kind of scared to put it right on her chest right there. I was being very adventurous and risky because I'm like, if this vein don't look right, I can't take it back off. It's going to just be there haunting me. <laughs> because with silicone, once you put it on there, it's on there. When it cure, it's cured. You, you ain't moving it. It's going to stay right there. So I'm so happy it came out looking like an actual vein. And I actually like it. So every time I undress her, I see her little vein on her chest. And I'm just so proud. So... The neck is big, as I said. It's kind of wide, but we gonna work with it. I like how this looks, the color on her, I like. And it fits her good. And I can hold and cuddle her in it because that's what I wanna do <laughs> is hold and cuddle her. So this is definitely a nice little outfit and it feels nice on the silicone. It's nice and soft when you want to just hold them. Perfect little outfit for cuddling. Um, and what else you need? She has a little toy right here. She got a passy. Or should we use one of your new passies? Did you guys see this one in her mouth? I love how that fits her face. That's a ma'am. And then the new passies. Let's see what color goes with this outfit. We could do the pink one. Then there's this purple, not that color. Then you got beige or stone, whatever they call it, sand. You could do that color. And then there's this peachy coral color. It's between those two. I think I like the pinky one. So let's see how these fit her. And she kind of has lubricant in her mouth already. And I don't know, do I want to keep putting more, more, more? Yeah, I might need more. Yeah, because these nipples are way bigger. So, for the safety, we're going to put a little KY personal lubricant, water-based lubricant on the tip of this passy. So, it will go in just a little bit easier. Wow, see how easy that stuff, I tell you. It just works magic with putting passies in these silicone babies' mouths. So this fits her too. Like, I love how open this baby's mouth is too. She can fit pretty much any size pacifier. She does have armatures in her arms. I don't think I said that. Um, so you can kind of put her arms up a little bit. Can you hold your toy? 
kind of. So yeah. Oh, I know what I didn't do. We didn't put on her headband. And these are the headbands. And what color? It looks like that's the color. It kind of matches the pacifier too. Then this one matches. You know these baby colors. Like the, color, the clothes and the headbands. They are tricky. You can even use this color with it. Like it matches. This outfit matches so many different colors. That you could put with it. Even that matches it. So now again I've made myself confused. <laughs> again I wish I could ask you guys. Which headband? I need to do that live. Hmm. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I guess since the Tassie's pink, the toy has pink, we'll go with this kind of pinky one. I think I paid like $9 for this pack of headbands. They were very reasonable i think amazon for the whole pack that's not bad all right so she's done that's our first little video with little miss kenya girl and there she is you guys i think my camera seems to be zoomed in in my opinion i don't know she has one little shiny spot on her finger, but we ain't gonna worry about it. I'm gonna put some matte and powder on there. Cause I see one little shiny spot right there. But anyway, that is Kenya today. That's her first changing and feeding. And we will be back soon, of course, with some more changing videos. We need to try her some more outfits. So thanks for watching guys. See you soon.